These are the basics of storytelling. Number one, find your story. Find your story. Pick what the story is going to be about. Number two, visualize it. You need to describe sounds and tastes and scents and color. You need to actually, gee, what's that doing, Sean? Let's go to hidden. Thank you. Visualize it. Sounds, tastes, scents, and colors. Use words, shapes, colors, names of things familiar. Cause people to see it in their mind. And then number three, map it. The beginning, the body, the climax, the resolution. And keep it short. Shorter is always more powerful. Stimulate their senses. <laughs> the old man thought he heard something in the wind. He stopped, he listened, the wind blew. A voice came through the wind. Who's got my golden arm? The old man said, eh -eh. <laughs> So he started walking faster, and then he stopped. He said, wait a minute, now wait a minute, Jim, that had to be your imagination. He listened, the wind blew. The voice came through louder. Who's got my golden oil? Did you see, when the camera cut to the audience, that group of kids, these are the kids that you hear about you know, they're playing too many video games and, you know, they're not plugged into reality anymore and, you know, you have to constantly be stimulating them with, you know, you know, the Nintendo or the Wii or whatever. Shut up. Those kids were mesmerized. If kids aren't paying attention, it's because you suck at storytelling. It's because you're boring. You get this guy using the voices, keeping it brief, moving the story forward so that it keeps just coming at you like an avalanche of Im images tumbling down a mountainside, and as soon as you've dealt with one, another one is on top of you. Yeah, when you know how to still tell a story right, kids, kids that love playing video games will sit there spellbound. It's woven into their DNA.